Hi there, I'm Jules from thestonesoup.com and today I've got another fresh six ingredient dinner recipe for you. So for our cabbage salad, I've just got a quarter of a large cabbage. I'm just going to chop that core bit up because <clears throat> it's kind of hard and hard to eat and then take off maybe those two leaves, outer leaves. And then I'm just going to slice as finely as I can. But <clears throat> if you want, you can use a food processor for this, but actually kind of like hand cut that saves on washing up as well so just get that in there great so when your cabbage is chopped i'm just going to <clears throat> put it all into my salad bowl and then i'm going to pour over my dressing so i've got four tablespoons of lemon juice mixed with four tablespoons of mayo. Or you could use extra virgin olive oil if you don't like mayo. Great, and then I'm going to give it a bit of, a bit of salt because you want the, salt's gonna help the cabbage kind of break down a little bit. Then we'll give it a stir. And then I like to let it sit for like, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And that just helps the cabbage soften a bit and makes it a bit easier to eat. So let's give it a good stir. But you don't have to, you can eat it straight away. It's just, it's going to be crunchier if you don't let it sit. Great, so when I'm ready to serve, I'll just give the cabbage another little toss because the dressing would have sunk to the bottom. Mm, beautiful. And then I've got just a small bunch of flat leaf parsley. I'll, um, if you're in short of time, if I was in a hurry, I'd just chop the leaves, but it's nice if you have time to pick them so they're whole like that. I'll put a few more on top. And then I'm gonna finish with some Parmesan. And this is me showing off using Parmesan and walnuts on a salad. You could just do one or the other. We could even, if it's just a side salad, you could even just skip, skip them. Um, but there we are, a beautiful, reliable cabbage salad. So if you enjoyed this, really encourage you to head on over to my blog. It's thestonesoup.com and you can download a free ebook filled with beautiful, fresh, six ingredient dinner recipes just like this one.